Okay, so I uh, just got my boot, the intake boot from a 6x6 here. Uh, here it is. This is actually an original Polaris part. The boot air box it says on there. Um, this, is, this is the boot uh, that I said was all cracked up. Surprised that they actually have a factory one still. But it is right there. And once I get this one out, I'll show you how cracked it is. Um, you got a couple clamps holding it on. One on the carburetor, one on the air box. Um, there's the air box, it's got to come off. Uh, two bolts right here and right there. Uh, I'm going to pull it out. Um, should be an easy swap here. Then you got to unhook your uh, air intake tubes that go to the front. Okay, and then to get this air filter out, you're going to have a bunch of uh, tubes like that coming off of this. I don't know how many years it's going to have. Mine's actually got three. And them are a bear to actually get off. They're, they're stuck on there pretty good, so uh, I'm going to get them off and we'll pull this air cleaner out. Okay, so here's the air cleaner completely out. This is the air intake. Um, here's the boot that I'm after trying to replace. Um, and you can see here, see how badly deteriorated this thing, uh, this thing is. I mean, it's it's pretty much shot there. Um, and this is a very bad thing. Um, you don't want you don't want air to go around your filter because this air that's coming through this thing is is bypassing the filter. That is not good. That is not good for an engine. Dirty air will destroy your engine. So, if I would have known this had a cracked boot here, this would have been the first thing I did when I got it but fooling around with that uh, putting on that snorkel um, I finally did see how that this was cracked so um, my new one here I'm going to compare it here it looks to me like it's the same thing and then uh, I'm going to put this on here get this filter box back on uh, pretty simple job uh, the hardest job is probably getting these all these tubes off because this these things are very difficult to get off. This one here is that governor. I just took it off at that governor's deal. So it was easier to do that. Um, so I'm going to replace this boot and get her back on. Okay, I got my new boot all installed. This really is a really easy um, thing to do. And it's a critical thing to do. Um, I would suggest that if you have an older Ranger like this that you check your boot, make sure it doesn't have cracks. Because like I said before, that is not a good thing. Um, all the heat cycles that it goes through, like I said before in the belt, uh, the rubber does not last forever. So it's a good idea to check that. And it's a good idea to check the intake on the motor too. Them are known for uh, splitting too. so. And they split on the underside a lot of times, so you don't really notice that. I believe they don't run very good if they uh, that boot is split. We got a train running through. Um, one thing some of you will notice is I blocked off my governor here. Um, it's just this used to go to it. Uh, for those of you that don't, that don't know, this is a, um, a professional series, 6x6. It was the yellow one. Um, what they did with these is they put a governor type thing on them to uh, limit the speed to 25 mile an hour. I'm pretty sure that's what this is because I've never seen it on any of my other Rangers. And I'm pretty sure this thing um, is rest restricts the the engine somehow the carburetor and you can only go about 25 mile an hour so uh, there's no need for that 
Um, I would like to get a, a totally new carb um, from a ranger that uh, didn't have the uh, governor. I'm pretty sure that's the governor. So I'm going to plug it. I've unplugged it right here. This thing plugs in here. It's like a solenoid type deal here. Uh, I've unplugged it and plugged that. We'll see how she runs. Um, so that's that install. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Maybe you learned something. I'll see you in the next one.